Hello, this is Momo. I just wanted to show you my little box for our recipe box for this month for August before I send it out. Today's the 31st and I'm right on schedule. Love it when a plan comes together. So, since I know that my gal's not going to be using hers in the kitchen, I decided to make it all crafty and, and these are the colors that she happens to like, so I obviously went with that. This was just a plain uh, paper mache box from Michael's, you know, I don't even remember what I paid for, a couple bucks, whatever. But it's an oversized recipe box because um, the little ones would have been way too fun, not so, so much fun, rather, to um, get to alter. So anyway, so I just knocked myself out. I started off with um, paper that, oh, before I say that, I have to say, I have now given myself 100% permission to start using all of the fabulous gifts that everybody keeps giving to each other with these swaps. Instead, I just keep hanging on to it, hanging on to it, and hanging on to it. And it's like, what are we hanging on to it for? So anyway, so it's kind of perfect when you think about it. If we start recycling the stuff that were given to us, and we should be able to use them the way they want, because now they're our present, it's kind of like we're all the sisters sharing our stuff with the next sister. Do you know what I mean? I just th thought about that this morning. It was perfect. So case in point, this particular paper is the one that Christy knew that I fell in love with who was my secret squirrel and she sent me back the rest of the pack when she found out that I love this paper. So I used that paper from Christy and I've got our little Carla's butterflies on here from the Etsy store and her little baby flowers are, are this kind right here and this one right here which I use my Lindy Stamp Gang a couple of different flavors, flavors, <laughs> uh, colors and then the same thing with the box. I think I used three different colors on the box to make it a chocolate brown. Okay, so I did that, and then we've got our Prima Bling, and also, too, I was going to show you, um, I did some different things here. This little rose here, and this little rose, and some other ones. I'll show you what I've, I've started doing with them. I now stuff them down through the hole of, like, the little uh, petals, the individual petals. These were actually Prima petals, and did that so I have a new Moe's Fantasy Flower, and the famous, but oh, wait. Also, too, this is a Spellbinders, uh, the Parisian, um, Parisian accents die. So I used that one there because I thought it was pretty do tied together with all this gorgeous lace that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then I've got my uh, Carla's Etsy pearls around, and uh, this is the garden uh, butterfly garden paper. I needed just that little tiny piece to say postcard right there. But then I was going to show you. Remember the famous butt white flowers? I left this one up on purpose because they get kind of fuzzy and I, this is just leftover uh, sprays from the different colors that I actually used in the box to create it. So that's the, in, that's the top, these are the sides, and then I just did the sides really basic and the back really basic. But isn't that color just cool? That's like three colors put together. Alright, so then on the inside, the inside this was totally fun. Speaking of our sisters, this right here of this bird is a napkin that I got from Kimberly. And this little lace right here was from my uh, my special, special Marie that sent me my big herc and two boxes of love last month and made me cry, cry, cry. And this little flower is ever so special to me. I won a, um, a gift from Candy Rosenberg. I don't know if all of you know her or maybe you don't. But she's like the coolest, most patient person in the world. My God, if she can put up with me, you know she's got to be patient, right? But she says, Mo, I just love having you as one of my fans. But she was in charge of the design team for uh, Graphic 45 for a long, long time. And now she's got way too much business going on. She's got two magazines online. She's got basically Bear that she just started up with a partner. And plus she still teaches classes. She just got back from Australia. She had like 26 stops while she's over there. So I thought of my little Candy Rosenberg right there when I used that one. And this little particular um, ribbon, this ribbon I tied on purpose to make it look like more flowers, um, I got also from Christy. And there's more of her paper back there. And then these little petals, these are um, Wild Orchid Craft, but this is, no, excuse me, these are I Am Roses. But you see how I shoved a little baby rosebud between inside of it? So it looks like a completely different flower, henceforth another fantasy flower. So anyway, so we have that, and then for my dividers, quote unquote. Oh, I want you to. I want. I don't know if I this be, will be able to show, but I love this box. The way when it's opened up, if she were to display it opened up, 
like a true flower arrangement, they say that a perfect flower arrangement should form an S. You know, so when you're placing your flowers, if anybody cares or doesn't care, that that's just what it is. But anyways, this one, I couldn't have done this more perfect had I tried. Because when it's open, I have to do it this way so you can kind of see. See, it follows the S and it comes down to here. So when it's open, it's still pretty. At least I think it's pretty. I hope she thinks it's pretty. It's even more important to me. Okay, so for my room dividers, my room dividers, oh my God, what is the matter with you, Mo? With my, um, uh, you know, the dividers for the recipe box, I decided that I'm still going to tuck some in, but they will, will not be for, they'll be like either um, a calendar, because they'll still have the tabs because she's not using it in the kitchen. But I couldn't let her go, I couldn't let her go without having a recipe or two, because I happen to come from, seriously, and I'm not bragging, but it's just a true story, from a long line of absolutely fabulous cooks. So what I did is I gave her one of my special little, I'll just slide it off, one of my special cookbooks. This is called the Big Little Cookbook. And I covered this for you, my little sister, in really, really special paper. This is true mulberry paper, but can you see the bamboo coming out of it? I left that on purpose so you would know that that was real. And then this is a Japanese iris right here and little baby's breath. But isn't it wonderful? And it's all, oh, I just love it. And when it's standing up inside of that box, it really does look like a thing of beauty. So anyway, so that's your paper. But look at honey, since I didn't know what kind of um, recipes that you like or what kind of food you and your family enjoy, do you see how many recipes are in this book? This is freaking huge. If you can't find something to eat in here, it's every, every country, every food group, and, and then some put together. But it's a beautiful cookbook. It's got all of your recipes, da 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 da. Cooking time level of difficulty one. Oh my God, rice patties, how good would those be? <laughs> but anyway, so there you go. And so these are my few, quote unquote, I think there's like 2,000 recipes in here. And that's for you. So I'm all done with that, and I'm going to load it up with goodies and send it on its happy little way. And I sure hope that you like it because it was really fun to make for you. Okay, have a great day. Bye.